guys, this is Shannon with Shannon McTy Photography. I am here today to show you how to use the expand dynamic range within the Bohemian Rhapsody collection. So these two actions that are in here are literally my favorite two actions in the entire bunch because it can take your photo, in my opinion, from good to great in terms of richness and colors. This is how I get a pop of color with my photos. And so this is a form of dodging and burning. In my opinion, it's a pretty easy form of dodging and burning. With dodging and burning, you really want to, you know, paint your light and your shadows just to help create a dynamic range. So for this first one, I'm just a poor boy. This is your burning. It's going to take your photo and it's going to burn the entire image. It's going to take the photo and basically duplicate the image on top of itself and make it very rich. So I'm going to hit play so you can see what I mean continue hit continue so now you can see all the richness that is in this photo and it's beautiful however it is too dark so the entire image is burned and now I'm going to dodge by erasing my highlights and where I want my viewers eyes to go so when I look at the image right away the first thing I notice is the highlights in her hair so I'm going to get a black brush I usually keep it between like 35 and 50 percent just depends on the image and I'll make this one like 40 or 42 that works and I'll get a smaller brush and then I'm just going to follow like the rim light in her hair I'm definitely going to paint some of the light back onto her face like dodge right here follow the highlights in her arms and on her forearm right here as well and so I'm literally just following where I see highlights on her skin and I will erase more off her face just because her face has so much emotion. I really want the viewer's eye to go to that. A little bit more on the hair. A little bit on the skirt here. A little bit on the shoulder here. Perfect. And then the next thing I'm going to do is make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to kind of accentuate that light up here by erasing it. Perfect. So now that I have done that, I can see my dodging burning. It's obviously a little too extreme. So I'm going to come down here to the right and you can see on the, the layer here all the brushwork you have done. So I'm going to go to opacity and I'm going to drop it to 0%. So now it looks like it did originally. And I'm just slowly going to pull it up until it hits a point that I really love it where it's rich, but not like overly done with the dodging and burning. So about right there at 66%. And then you can turn, I'll turn the eye off and this is it back on. And you can really see how rich the photo is now. And then I'll right click and flatten. Now let's say you do all that and you're like, you know, I still need more dodging. I need more brightness put onto her. I'm going to come to the one underneath it where it says I need no sympathy and hit play. Continue. And hit OK. And then I'll get another just small brush. I'll make this like a little bit lower, but 35%. And again, I'm just going to go over wherever I see a need for an additional light to be painted on. So again, I can go over like the highlights in her arm here, her hand, her neck. I think that looks so good. A little bit in her hair. Perfect. Maybe even a little more right here because the skirt. There, I like that. So now if I turn this on and off, you can see how much more brightness it brings to the image. And then you just right click and flatten and you move on with your editing. I hope that was helpful. Thank you.